Hi friends, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. It's the start of a new week, or really the middle of a new week, because it is Wednesday. So I just wanted to update you on where I'm at in my books and then tell you my goals for this week. So I finished Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I am giving this five stars because it was really, really, really good, and I loved the audiobook, probably one of my favorite audiobooks so far out of, you know, the singular one I've read besides Harry Potter. But anyways, it was a pretty good audiobook. I definitely recommend it. And I definitely recommend reading the book and listening to the audio at the same time because there's things in the text, like the physical text, that you can't really decipher from just the audio. But if you only have the audio, you still get a really good story. But yeah, 5 out of 5 stars. This is really, really good. I'm still on page 152 of The Cruel Prince because I really wanted to push through Illuminae because I had to return it last night to the library. So I was pushing through that. But now I can start back on The Cruel Prince. I also made it to page 149 of Deep Cosmos. I think that's about 40 or 50 pages more than last time I updated you. And it's starting to get pretty good. I'm really liking the direction it's taking, so I'll keep you updated on my thoughts on this. And then I'm on page 412 of my Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince audiobook, and this is 100% my favorite read so far. Goblet of Fire is like just behind it because I really love Goblet of Fire but this is definitely my favorite of the books so far. I am so 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 excited to get the year six magical edition crate from Lovejoy. Yeah! So I wanted to also update you on some book mail I got. I received Finale by Stephanie Garber. This is the third book in the Caraval series so I now have Caraval and Finale and I just need Legendary so I'm definitely collecting those series as we go. And then I also picked up Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I I just have such an emotional, like personal tie to this book and I really, really loved it. So that's why I decided to buy it. But I do want to do this week, besides my reading goals, I'd really like to do a review of Heirs of Fate by Mara Luciano and Again But Better. I want to do book talks on both of these. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any books that I've read that you would like me to do a book talk on as well. I've It's been a while since I've done a book talk, so I really want to catch up on those. But these two, especially this one, because the author sent it to me and I really just want to review it for her because it was so good. And then this one for... I don't know, I just want to review it. <laughs> so to my reading goals for the week. My goals are to finish The Cruel Prince and Deep Cosmos, and then to make it a good chunk of the way into Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, because we are now starting the buddy read. Uh, Mia from Mia Rose Reads and Kayla from Mercury Wasted and I are all starting the buddy read, so I definitely want to get into this because I have been dying to know what happens since I read and finished Strange the Dreamer. And then just some side books I thought I'd pick up whenever I have a little bit of free time and just want an easier read that's not a huge book. I have Dengeki Daisy Volume 5 and 6 and then the Dragon Ball Volumes 4 through 6 in this little collection. This one's actually my Dragonic Isle prompt so I'll probably start with this and then if I still want an easy read after finishing this then I'll pick these up. But those are my goals for the week so I will keep you updated throughout the week on how they're going and yeah, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hi friends, it is now Thursday and I'm just going to update you that I finished Deep Cosmos by Project Kyle. It was sent to me by my friend Kyle over at Planet Booktube and he goes by Project Kyle. This tells the story of Nerd and Sophia who join an unlikely alliance and try to save the universe together. It's got Guardians of the Galaxy vibes. It's got definitely some Illuminae vibes, lots of sci-fi, and really, really great representation of autism and I just really really enjoyed the book. I think the story is there but the writing can be enhanced. There was moments of dialogue that took me out of it because it felt unnatural from people other than the person on the spectrum so it just didn't make sense. With the person on the spectrum I understood why the dialogue was a bit unnatural but with how some of the other people talked I think it could have been improved a little bit. 
there was times where the story felt too convenient like things were happening too conveniently and I wanted a little bit more build up pacing was a little off but other than that the story is definitely there I think with some fine tuning this will definitely be an easy four to five star read right now it's sitting at a 3.5 3.75 for me I put it as four stars on Goodreads because I want it to get a little more recognized but I do think it's like a 3.75 for me right now I've also made it to page 476 of my Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince audiobook, so this will definitely be finished next week. So tonight I think I'm going to work on The Cruel Prince, try to make some good headway in this if not finish it, and then also read maybe a chapter to five chapters of Muse of Nightmares. But I also have three things of book mail here. I really don't know what they are, so I thought we would open them together. The first is in this unicorn crate box, but I know I didn't order a unicorn crate, so they must have just had the extra box. Lots of packing. Oh! It's a very large expanse of sea by Terea Moffey. And yes, this is incredible. And I'm pretty sure she said it was, yep. It is hand signed. Look at that. Ah! That's incredible. This book was so good and everything I want a contemporary to be. Probably my favorite contemporary of all time and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I think this is the Goodreads giveaway I won a long, 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 long time ago and just never received. I even messaged to Goodreads saying I never received it. It's been like two or three months since I won this, but it is Danielle Chronicles of a Super Heroine. Oh, it's one novel and two companion books. So that's kind of cool. It comes with two books in it. We've got Danielle Chronicles of a Super Heroine and A Chronicle of Ideas, A Guide for Super Heroines. And lastly is this box from Barnes & Noble. Remember that book buying ban I was on? It's going well. Oh, I forgot I <laughs> It's Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I'm so excited to have this actually because I just finished Illuminae by these two authors, and it was incredible, and everything about this sounds so fun. Oh, the girl who drank the moon. This tells the story of this witch who everyone believes kidnaps children, so they sacrifice a child to her or something like that, but the witch is actually like a really nice woman, and she keeps finding these sacrificed children so she takes them in and kind of adopts them but she accidentally fed this girl too much of the moonlight or something like that but it's supposed to be a super cute little middle grade book so I'm super excited to read it I think it's a good like October book like a Halloween-esque book so that was my update for today but I will check in with you guys tomorrow hopefully with some good Headway into Cruel Prince and Muse of Nightmares and all of that, but I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hello, hello friends! It is now Friday. I'm about to leave for my friend Caitlin's bachelorette party. I'm staying the night, we're having dinner, gonna do some face masks and watch wedding movies all night long. And then have breakfast tomorrow and then I'm heading up to Anthony's. So I'm gonna try to read as much as possible this weekend, but clearly it's a very busy weekend for me. However, where would I be without taking my books with me up to Anthony's house, you know? Anyways, I'm just going to update you. I am now on page 225 of The Cruel Prince, so I have about 150 pages left. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this this weekend, if nothing else, because this is my third book out of five in the Book Junkie Trials TBR. This is my Glimmer prompt, and then I have the Dragonic Isle, which is my Dragon Ball volumes four through six, and the Bookie Grail, which is The Hobbit. So of course I'm taking all three of those books up with me. And then another book I'm taking up is Muse of Nightmares because I really, really want to read this. Strange the Dreamer shook me to my core and I just need to read this as soon as possible. I don't have an update on the Half-Blood Prince because I haven't driven since we last talked on video, but I do believe I might be able to finish this this weekend between driving up two and a half hours and then back two and a half hours and also an hour to the bachelorette party and back. So I believe between all that, like seven hours, I think it is, 
even if I talk to people, I only have like this much left, so I think I can definitely finish that this weekend. The last two books I'll be taking up are Aran High School Host Club Volumes 3 and 4. So I was going to take Dengeki Daisy, but I picked these up from the library, and because Dengeki Daisy Volume 4 is on my reading rush, and that is the next volume I would need to read, then I decided that I'd pick these up instead because clearly I can't read the volumes 5 and 6 before 4, which is for the reading rush, which starts next week. And I'm just confusing myself here, but yeah, I picked up these instead of Dengeki Daisy. So those are my goals for this weekend. I'll try to update you guys as much as possible, but again, I'll be pretty busy. Maybe I'll take some video while I'm at the bachelorette party or hanging out with Anthony. I think we're going to go to a trampoline park, so that'll be fun. However, I did want to open some book mail with you. Uh, remember when I said that thing about the book buying ban on my 50 plus book haul? Yeah. So I got some books from Thrift Books. Let's open them together. The first book I picked up is Cinder, which is a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella, and that's really all I know. But it is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. The next poot poo. poo. <laughs> the next two books I got are Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Days of Blood and Starlight. So all I need is the is it Days of Gods and Monsters or something of Gods and Monsters. And these are by Lainey Taylor, the same author as Strange the Dreamer. So I'm super excited to read this series as well. That was all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will try to check in with you tomorrow. <laughs> well, life is short and sweet. Hi friends, it is now Monday and I just wanted to update you on what I accomplished this weekend. I was able to finish my Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince audiobook and it is definitely my favorite of all of the books so far. I just love this story and I love the relationship that starts with Harry and I love the potions class and the drama and the horcruxes coming into play and all of this fun stuff so five out of five stars clearly and I was able to make it to page 342 out of 370 in the cruel prince so I have like less than 30 pages this will 100% be finished tonight as a reminder, on top of those two, I finished Illuminate, which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. And this tells the story of two teenagers whose planet was kind of blown up and attacked. And they are on these refugee ships, and this is all about the communications and trying to save their people. And then I also finished Deep Cosmos by Project Kyle, and I gave it 3.75 out of 5 stars. And it tells the story of two people who gang up together and try to save the universe. And we have Sophia and Nerd. And it's got great representation for people on the spectrum. And it's got a great female lead. And it's a lot of sci-fi. And I really recommend it. But that was all for today. So I will check in with you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know how your Book Junkie Trials Week 3 went. Bye, friends. Thank you.